recorded a few maybe three or four times um, a review on dead files for you guys and I'm always like trying to do research and there's a video clip I'm trying to find of her and I can't find it but this has got to be my most requested from you guys at the moment what is up guys welcome back to my channel and today is the day that I'm finally going to post this video regarding my review for Amy Allen and Steve Deshami on The Dead Files, which aired in 2011 on the Travel Channel. So Amy Allen is supposedly the psychic medium that has been doing this psychic work for years and she can supposedly see full-bodied apparitions and talk to the dead. I have been researching Amy Allen and I cannot find the episode that I saw her on even before she was on the Travel Channel with Dead Files. But according to medium Amy Allen, rather than shielding themselves, they needed to accept and understand what was happening to them. I believe that there are deceased entities, people at the location. So what you have is an extremely active location where the mediums, the mother and daughter, are going to be having experiences because the deceased people are attracted to them. Just like mediums the are a type of beacon uh, for the dead, almost like a light in a pitch black room, uh, and they're just attracted to that light. So not sure. Heidi is a what? physical medium. The way that she describes the events that have happened to her uh, click very much so with what physical mediums deal with, uh, which is physically seeing and hearing those who have died. So she's not saying she's a physical medium. She's saying she's a psychic medium. There was a recording of her from many years ago. I believe that she was actually in college. She has blonde hair and she's on this show. It was something like The Haunted or A Haunting. I can't remember which series and I cannot find it. She does not take credit or claim that in her like past history for production, which tells me she's probably trying to hide it. In this episode, this is how I actually recognized her when she got the show on Dead Files. In this episode, she's on there talking about she's just learning to do paranormal investigating and she's helping this family out that supposedly has like some sort of a demonic haunting and she's basically chatting about how she's really not familiar with doing any sort of investigation work. Um, I think that she had said she was either in school for psychology or had just graduated from psychology school and she just didn't know much about ghost hunting at all. That was how she introduced herself. She did not introduce herself as any sort of medium or psychic on that show. I did not know what Dead Files was about when it originally came out in 2011, so when it finally aired, I was actually really excited to see what it was about because I recognized her face from when she was on this series previously, maybe 2008 or somewhere around there. So when the intro started, she was introducing herself as a psychic medium that could talk to the dead, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I'm not saying that it's impossible 100% for someone to go, you know, completely zero to all the way to 100% talking and seeing entities, but it's pretty damn hard. Most legitimate psychics that I know, and even in the celebrity field and out of the celebrity field, hence Chip Coffee or even Chris Fleming, they all had abilities from when they were children 
up into adulthood and then they slowly gradually you know increase their talent or gift for Amy to introduce herself in the other series as I don't know anything about ghost hunting I'm just a ghost hunter I don't know how she would become a full-blown psychic most psychics that I know even you know celebrity non-celebrity if they can communicate with the other side I've never seen them interact with them the way she claims that she does and can we just be honest and say when you're recording let's get the crazy face ready to go I mean jeez do I think Steve Deshami is legitimate? 100%. He's like totally the Italian cop that's been doing this forever and he gets his facts in order. But once again, sadly, in the paranormal, a girl falls short of kind of having the lead position. Most of the questions that you guys always ask me are if she's actually going around with her husband and her husband is recording her as she's doing the walkthrough and the psychic interview, why are they not capturing evidence? Well, there's one of two reasons for that. Either they're not in a haunted location, therefore there is no evidence, or they don't hire people to do that part of like looking over the footage because it's not really that kind of a show anyways. But you're right, even if she's doing some sort of like communicating with the dead on camera, there still should be some sort of EVP or something come through, even if it was residual activity. Because most of us as investigators or that are in this field just get it. Most of the time at the end, I think it's, I think the expectations that she puts on people and their homes or businesses are completely outrageous. So what I need you to do in order to cleanse your house. You need to go to the Indian reservation and you need to find a shaman, but they need to have graduated from RN school and they need to be a registered nurse. They also have to be at least under five foot six because the demon isn't going to be as intimidated if it's a shorter person. She needs to be a blonde Indian and she needs to have served in the military for at least two years. Have her use some black salt and I swear you're not gonna have activity anymore. Where am I gonna find one of those? I don't know if the people are real. I haven't really researched enough. I find her completely discredible as it is, so I'm not gonna waste my time into researching anyone else. The faces that she makes and like the reactions that she has. If a psychic was actually starting to develop their skills and they were seeing things and feeling things like she claims and you know even like she's felt cuts and bruises and being beaten or being taken over by a spirit. Most experienced psychics are not going to have the facial reactions she has. They are going to be confident. She is obviously fearful. And I don't believe someone that has as much fear and, and self she doesn't have a lot of confidence because of the facial reactions and, the, and how scared she gets. I don't think a psychic would be that confident going on a camera saying and vocalizing a full series of things that they're seeing with their eyes like, you know, the facts of history. Because if they're that afraid, they're going to be scared that they're not spewing out actual facts or that things that are coming to them either through telepath, you know, being telepathic or whatever, they're going to be second guessing themselves saying, I don't know if this is real or not, especially by the way she's reacting. Do I watch dead files? Yeah. If nothing else is on and I'm cleaning the house, I usually have some sort of paranormal series on. I'll just throw on dead files on travel channel and just let it run. I absolutely think that Steve Deshami is legit but I don't find Amy Allen incredible at all. If you guys ever run across that footage and find her um, you know, on this other series, like I said, I wanna say it's The Haunting or A Haunting. I do believe it was on Animal Planet originally. She is in that series and you guys will really understand what I'm talking about. And if you need even more sources than that, look up people like Chip Coffee or Chris Fleming and look into their backgrounds as far as how long they've been psychics and when they started experimenting with you know being able to talk to the other side. Most of the time it starts at infancy even before the, the kids can speak. She would not have come out saying you know I don't have any experience with this I'm just a ghost hunter um, if she would have had some sort of intuition.
I believe that she was probably cast for both roles because that series wasn't the most credible either because it was mainly reenactments. But you're right, if there is a haunted place and you're walking through with any sort of electronic digital recording device, whether it's a video camera or just a digital recorder, you're bound to pick up something. So finally, I got the review out. And I'm sorry because I know some of you guys really like it and you were probably hoping that it was real. I just don't find Amy credible. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give my video a thumbs up. Please leave me good comments below. What do you guys think about Amy Allen and even Steve Deshami for that matter? What do you think of the series? Have you seen it? Go check it out and come back and leave me a comment below. If you have any requests for future reviews, um, please leave me a comment below and I will catch you guys next time.